I'll be showing you guys how to hook up your computer to your television so that you can be able to view your computer screen onto your TV set. This can come in handy if you say you wanted to watch a movie online or if you wanted to play a game um, with everybody in the room or something. It's kind of fun. It's really easy to do. It's not that hard. You do need to make sure that your computer does though have a S video port. Some do, some don't. Most desktops do nowadays. Um, and of course your TV should have one as well. They almost all do now. After you got that um, figured out and you know where it's at, you need to get an S video wire or a cord, whatever, and you're going to hook it up from the back of your computer or laptop to to the television set, to the back of the TV. Um, this will transmit the video. This is a must-have. The other cord that you might want to you know might want to use is the audio cord, the RCA audio cord. This is if you wanted the audio to come out of the television set. Like say if you got a big crowd and you want to watch a movie and everybody's talking, most likely your computer, laptop speakers will not um, you know will not do any good over them. And you want the audio to come out of the TV. You want to hook up this. These two um, ends are going to go to the audio part of your television set. It can be two different colors. It doesn't matter. Um, this one end will go to the headphone jack of your computer or laptop, your desktop or your laptop. After you got these hooked up, um, this is something you do have to have. This is something you really don't have to have, but this is only if you want the audio coming out of the TV. Um, for me, I just use the, my desktop speakers. It's loud enough. Um, after you got these wires hooked up, and you do need to hook it up first, go to your desktop, right click, and you will go to properties. After going to properties, you're going to go to settings. And after you go to settings, you're going to go to advanced. I know there's other ways of doing this, by the way. This is the way I do it. This is the way I know how to do it, so I'm just going to do it this way. For me, it's easier. I tried doing the the F4 keys, whatever, and it didn't work on my computer, so this works. This is the kind of um, page I get when I open up um, Advanced, and this is the kind of card I have, the kind of graphic card I have. I know my laptop is different, everybody's computer might be different, but on this, this is what I do. Let me show you what I do on here. I go to GeForce, and I will get another little side menu that will pop up. Um, you want to make sure that you have this highlighted and view display settings. All this other stuff, I don't know how to use it. I don't know how to play with it. If you do, I don't know. If you don't, don't play with it. Um, make sure that's highlighted. And as far as these options go, you have the single display. They're pretty much self-explanatory. It means basically you only want the TV working and the, your um, laptop or desktop's screen will be blank. Um, the dual view, gosh I did this, when you click on dual view you will basically get your wallpaper on your computer and that's it. Um, I think you could see your mouse but you can't um, work on your computer, um, you can't go online. If you do want to go online you're going to have to use your television set as your computer screen. So for me I just go to clone when I go to clone, I basically get my S video hooked up to the back of the TV. Um, and if we want to watch something online, I'll go ahead and go to my TV and just click TV video, which is what you need to have. You need to make sure you have your remote with you while you're doing this and find the TV video button on the remote. And you're going to click TV video while you're doing these settings. Um, as far as these two options are concerned, one, um, when you got the TV, or in the Dell, whatever, the computer. This is basically going to mean that you're going to have the TV more um, superior with the primary display. For some reason, on my computer, this comes out to be much more clear, whereas um, this, the font on my, on my computer screen is kind of smaller. But this is what I use, but let's go ahead and just change. And um, I will click Apply. You will have your remote in your hand, and you'll click TV video to see which um, video. Maybe it's on video one, maybe it's on video two, maybe it's on video three that your S video um, will transmit your computer screen. 
uh, picture to. So I'm going to click apply. And when you're clicking apply, you're going to go ahead and click TV video until you find your computer screen. And when you do see it and everything is, you know, fine, go ahead and click on yes. If you don't click on yes, your computer won't explode or anything like that. It'll just basically go back to the way it was previously. Um, and then for me right now, I'm going to go back to my previous settings. Um, this is pretty much it. If you do have a different um, card, like my laptop is ATI, ATI, I don't know what it is. Um, it'll have a bunch of little small tabs on here. When it has a bunch of little small tabs on here, I think I go and click on display. And after I click on display, this is using my different um, my laptop. When I click on display, I think you will get three small boxes, and on those three small boxes, you will get um, a box that shows a TV monitor, a box that will show your laptop or or your whatever computer, and another box that will show a monitor. Um, of course, you're going to click on TV. It'll let you know if it's hooked up or not. If it's uh, not hooked up, you know, basically hook it up, make sure it's hooked up right, and click on um, I forgot if it's apply or whatever, and it should work. It's much more easier than actually this. So. I hope it works. I hope you learned something and good luck doing this.